Okay, we're going to have a look at the date and time settings in Windows 7. To get to this, you go down to the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you see your date and time there. Just click on that and then go to change date and time settings. Okay, so now we have the date and time settings box here, and as you can see, we've got our analog clock uh, ticking away, and we've also got the date and time here. Uh, to change this, we go to change date and time and from then you can change your date and time. Uh, you can see the calendar here, you can actually uh, pick a day in the month and you can also change months by clicking up here so you've got left and right arrows and it goes on like this and you can change right to the, the next year and so on and so forth. Um, here we can change our time, so if I click on the 6 here I can use the up and, up and down arrows to select uh, a different hour. Um, you can do the same for minutes and seconds and also the p PM and AM like so. Okay, um, the next option if we just close that um, is time zone. As you can see I've got it set to London. Um, you can click change time zone and from here um, you can use the pull down menu and select the time zone that you prefer and also you can tick if you want daylight savings time also. Okay, the next option is notify me when clock changes. This is meant to notify you, but I've never actually seen it, even though I've got it ticked, so I, whether that works, I don't know. Um, next tab at the top here is additional clocks. Um, if you'd like to have additional clocks, maybe you're a traveler or something, um, this could be useful. So um, click on show this clock, and uh, using the pull down menu, you can select your time zone. I'm just going to um, put Seoul on and you can enter a display name and I've just put Seoul and uh, you can add another clock so you can have ex uh, two extra clocks here you can just uh, tick the tick box here for the other clock choose a time zone and a name and uh, once you're finished click apply then OK and now if you go to the bottom right hand corner of the screen and click the time and date you now have an extra clock as you can see I've got Seoul's time there now uh, saying it's 4 a.m. Okay, so if I go back to change date and time settings, and we'll have a look at what else is in here. Uh, the next one is internet time. Um, so this can basically get the time and date from the internet um, automatically. So if we click on change settings for that, you can actually uh, change the server um, where it gets the date and time from using the pull down menu. Um, I've got mine set to time.windows.com. Um, you can click update now to, to get the uh, date and time from the internet straight away. Um, and you can also have ticked the synchronize uh, with the with an inter internet time server. So I usually leave that ticked uh, and then press OK. Um, so that's a basic overview there of um, the time and date settings. Uh, I hope you found this useful. Um, don't forget you can also check out my website whiteclick.co.uk and from there um, you can check out the forum for some more uh, tutorials and also don't forget to subscribe.